Egypt is aiming to revive its tourism industry which has been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic with a new marketing campaign about a pyramid plateaus co-sponsored by the country's ministries of tourism and information and produced by an international marketing firm. The campaign includes aggressive advertising on foreign and domestic media to keep Egypt in the minds of international travelers. Here are the details of this and other stories in our international business roundup. Tourism, one of Egypt's pillar industries, yielded about 13 billion US dollars in 2019. In 2020, however, the sector has suffered a major setback due to the pandemic. Egyptian authorities hope that once the second wave of the pandemic is over and restrictions are lifted, travelers will choose Egypt as a priority destination. Besides spreading information about Egypt, the campaign mentions the refurbishment of pyramids of Giza Plateau to make the visit to the oldest wonder of the world a more enjoyable experience. The Grand Egyptian Museum, scheduled to be open next year, will be the largest in the world. The project reveals Egypt's intention on global promotion. The campaign also focuses on Egypt's health measures and conditions. Elsewhere, Samsung Electronics has reported record revenues of $59 billion for its third quarter. The strong revenues was fueled by a 50% jump in smartphone sales, while profits from microchips increased 82%. The Korean tech firm posted a third quarter net profit of $8.3 billion, a 49% increase over the same period last year. Samsung's mobile and chip businesses were likely boosted by U.S. sanctions against its Chinese rival Huawei. The increase in sales likely reflects that Samsung is eating into Huawei's market share as U.S. restrictions hit the Chinese telecommunications giant. And financial markets have tumbled around the world for a second day this week amid concerns that rise in coronavirus cases will hurt still tentative economic recoveries. Major U.S. indices are sunk 3.4% or more, while European bosses also saw steep falls. The UK's FTSE 100 ended almost 2.6 lower Wednesday and Germany's DAX dropped 4.2%. The declines were widespread as investors sold off shares in favor of less risky assets like the US dollar. In the US, travel and energy firms, which are sensitive to concerns about the pandemic, suffered some of the steepest losses.